so 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 I did a reaction video just before but I forgot to record the screen so I'm not gonna upload that song it was um Marlon Craft gang sh gang 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 shit or some shit um so instead I'm gonna go to my guy Benji and see what he recommended and he said he said Lissy Lissy 60 64 bars let's see what this young man from the bell I, I actually stayed in Brisbane for a little while maybe like four or five months and I, I was living in um, Red Bank so shout out to Red Bank uh, Ipswich um, Logan all those areas even that there's a town maybe like 10 minutes on the freeway 20 minutes on the freeway and it's a scary place <laughs> I don't know what it's called also, also um, I think there's Gisborne over there yeah shout out to the family over there Let's see what this song's about. I don't know if I've heard it before or not. Let's see, young man Lucy. He's nice though, he keeps it hard. I have one of his songs on repeat. Oh, it's just the lyrics. Oh, that's good now. I was in good now a lot. So for those who don't know, maybe he's come from Melbourne. Um, basically, it switches L's like I want to say like St Albans, almost out. It's like maybe out like Melton way. Like it's in type of distance from the city. It's also um, it's the, I think it's the rougher side of Brisbane. Eh? It's out. I think that's is it north. I'm not too sure. Someone, someone let me know. Someone let me know in the comments below. You might. <laughs> but all he's talking about is uh, it's not normal to do what he does. But um, he's doing it for a purpose, I guess. I actually, um, when I went there, I didn't play basketball for a long time and I used to drive around Red Bank, Red Bank a lot and there was a um, there's a shopping mall there I think it's Red Bank shopping mall and there's a jump or like one of those trampoline places and then there was a basketball basketball court and I went in there and I met some, a lot of boys that were from um, they must have been like church boys that went there and they were the nicest guys there and they it was crazy because I had been there for like I want to say like four months, ain't played no ball, ain't done nothing like that, ain't met nobody, just been working with my uncle grinding. And um, I met these guys and they're like, like, let me join the, I don't know, and I'm not saying group, but they just, so they didn't bro, they just let me come chill with them. They come KFC, I'll introduce you to my mum, said meet your old mum, shit like that. It was crazy. I was like, all right, bro, bet. That was cool. Uh, <laughs> I was, I remember hooping with these boys and so, some of them were good, some were like, said they were like, uh, one was a college prospect in Seattle, coming from Hawaii, I remember those guys, and it was fucked because the, ne the next day I moved, moved, moved towns, I think I went back to New Zealand, or some shit like that, and I was like, damn, never see those guys again, hopefully one day I'll meet them again, and one of us recognises the other, I'm bad with names, but yeah, anyway, my story, so, so. <laughs> This is more than a place called home. Four through is a lifestyle. And that's something they have to know. It's not just a subway, but I reside. It's the heart I carry everywhere I go. So they have to know that it's more than a place I'm from. It's embedded in my blood, and I'm always gonna hold it down to the day that my lifetime's done. I told them I got this. As a young brown man coming up in the world, it's tough. They yeah. recognize me, they put me in a factory and expect me to think that's enough. Or we'll tell them get stuff. I'll be on the rise till I say it's enough. I come from a town where there's no good luck. We always work hard and we never give up. Even when we feel like that, we don't have to. This is the crazy part about this is a this is a younger boy, so he's probably been born and bred here. But our, us older generations, like I'm, I'm a '90s kid, and we've come over from New Zealand and different countries, and Australia's been the place to be, making money, grind, work hard, and shit like that. And it's hard, man. <laughs> but it's like 
and then you get um, stereotyped as well with, oh, you're from New Zealand, oh, you're just in this, you're just in that. But you, you make it work. Sadly, a lot of us don't utilize the opportunities we have in this country. Not even just, not even just more you know, more than just us. Nice bar there. Mm. Good now. Oh, it's West Side. Hey. He's killing this. My bad, my bad. I'm reading the, <laughs> I'm reading the lyrics. This is, uh, I know the instrumental. I can't remember what it was from, but I know the instrumental. So all I'm doing is trying to soak up the lyrics. Yeah, and basically he's just ripping his his town. Good enough. He hasn't said nothing about Ipswich. Oh, I'm pretty sure Ipswich is like the whole area, yeah. And Goodna is just one of the little towns. Goodna had that big ass shopping center, three stories shit. And the cheap ass cinema. Ah. Mean bars, brother. Mean bars, brother. So, this young kid, he's what, 18 now? Yeah, maybe 19. Sorry, Lucy, I didn't watch your original song. Um. But he's making a name. I reckon he's the only one that I've heard come out of Brisbane. He's the only one I've heard come out of Brisbane. One for Sydney, Spaniard Sydney, Chilean Sydney. Chilean deserves the most recognition, man. I don't know how come that's not happening, but I feel like it will. And if it's not from the mainstream, it'll be from the real ones. Um, if you know, you know. Anyway, that was my reaction to that song. There's a good vibe on that. He's just re representing his town. You could feel it. You know, I could feel that way about where they come from. I feel the same way about my town. <laughs> Itch. Hey, you go. Same shit. You know, you probably represent your town. Through and through. Thanks for watching. Bye.